Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and if you're new here, I do makeup reviews, makeup tutorials, skincare, anything beauty related. I got you covered. So today's video is another fun one because it has to do with blush. And if you know me or you just clicked on this, you're going to find out that I really like blush a lot. Like anytime I see new blush, I usually pick it up to try it out and kind of see. I tend to favor cream blushes, but then I also like powder blushes. So I, I don't discriminate against formulas. If it's a blush, I like it. If it's a beautiful color, if it's something that's going to just give my face some life, I'm all for it. So today is going to be a review on the Undone Beauty, their Lip to Cheek. I have a brand new shade that launched a couple of weeks ago and then one that launched, I think, within like the last year. Um, so that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to swatch. We're going to talk about finishes. And of course, I'm going to apply it on. Now I have two different blushes, which is good for me today because I got two cheeks. So one's going to go on one side. The other one's going to go on the other side. And we're just going to see how it wears. Now, I am not new to this formula. It is a cream blush and it's very beautiful, the formula. I haven't tried these on myself yet. I have swatched them for you, which you're gonna see, but I can tell you for a cream formula blush, they're very good, they're affordable. You can find them at Target, you can find them on Amazon, you can find them at undonebeauty.com as well. So let's talk about the shades. I picked up the color Rosewood which like I said, they debuted it like sometime actually last year because now we're in 2021. And this is the color, which is sort of like a warm, rosy brown color, which I like. That's kind of like my, up my alley, I guess. And the other one, which is a new launch from, I think they launched like four colors. It's called Poppy. And this one's pretty. This one is... You can say it's like a berry tone kind of color. So let's cut into swatches so you guys can see and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna apply them to my face. So let's do that. So now we have the Undone Beauty Lip to Cheek and uh, what does it say? And Glow Giving Coconut Extract 3-in-1 Color Cream. So I'm gonna take this off because I can only open it if I don't have that piece there. So here you have it, and this is in the shade 340 of Rosewood. This was a newer shade that was launched in, uh, this year, I believe. And the way these work is you have three sections. So you have the top, which is a sheer, um, like a sheer color of this blush. Then you have a medium, and then you have a full coverage. So here's the color. So this is like a warm rosy shade it's actually to me it's more of a terracotta shade i think rosy is not the right word to describe it so we're gonna swatch it it's very creamy look at that so this is going to be the light coverage part of it see how it's like more sheer Next, the middle. That's definitely a little more coverage. Oh yeah, you can see that. It's like sheer medium. And last, the full. So here we have a new lip to cheek from Undone Beauty in the shade Poppy. So we're gonna swatch this. And though as I'm looking at it and I opened it, it does remind me of the one they have in Berry. If you guys want um, swatches of the Undone Beauties that I have, like the lip to cheek palette, so let me know, comment down below. I'll make a separate video and swatch them for you. So let's start off with the top. Oh, that's very beautiful, okay. That is a very nice, like, it kind of reminds you of like a berry shade, but that's so beautiful. Okay, let's see the medium coverage. 
that color is stunning i can't wait to try it on like my cheeks oh my god so beautiful that's one thing that they do a great job with is their lip to cheek palettes it's one of my favorite products from the line and this is the more full coverage like look at that beautiful sheen like can you just picture that like as a blush and it's always recommended you can use these like uh, on your lips obviously in the name the last shade usually everybody says oh you should put that one on your lips because you're gonna have more color but those are the colors so that's poppy all right let's see all right so you see how the blushes work you have a system where it's sheer medium full coverage i like that um basically you manipulate the coverage you want you get the coverage that you want which is nice i've never seen a brand actually do that before i could be wrong if you know of a brand that also does that comment down below because i would you know i'd be curious to try it out um Usually with cream blushes though, what you can do is you apply a thin layer, that's your sheer layer, and then you kind of pick up, you know what I mean? So, all right, so now for the fun part, we're gonna do rose wood on this side. So I'm gonna actually take the medium color and I'm gonna mix it with the top because I don't want it to be too full coverage, but I wanna see how the color works with my skin tone. So. I like to just take it from here. Now that's a lot. You can work off the back of your hand and kind of go like that, remove the excess and apply. Cause I'm not gonna go directly onto my face. Sometimes if you go from the product onto your face, you put too much product on and then it's difficult to blend out. I always recommend kind of removing a little bit extra here. You can always build the color. You wanna work in layers, light layers to full layers. If you go too heavy, it's a pain in the butt to correct and like clean so okay i'm gonna take this and again this is rose wood and this is a really pretty color now i've done a couple of reviews on undone beauty um they've been mixed for the most part but their blushes are always beautiful always like they always deliver so so this is rose wood this is a very pretty like i feel like it mimics like if I was outside in the sun or something, you know? So that is a light layer. I would say the finish, it's not matte, but it's not like um, super dewy, like let's say the Milani, the, the blush sticks that I'm obsessed with. So that's that. Very natural very like girl next door or you know kind of running errands and you don't want a full face but you want color and what's nice is I'm going to do this now because I didn't do this last time I'm going to put it on my lips my unprepped lips uh let's go with the sheer version so I'm going to put some on my lips and I'm going to take it off so you guys can see the other color as well so you do get a pretty color so on my lips this actually almost pulls coral that's so funny yeah it pulls more coral on me let's go with the heavier swatch you see that's very interesting i wasn't expecting it to pull coral does it pull coral on my cheek maybe a little bit hmm. it's supposed to be more of like a reddish rose but it's going to be different on everybody's skin tone okay Next, we'll do Poppy. So this is pretty. It's funny. It looked more um, more of like a berry tone, like a deeper berry tone online. And here it's like it's more pinky to me. But we'll see. So I'm going in with that middle swatch. And again, I'm just going to tap off the extra on my the back of my hand. And just apply. So yeah, this one pulls more berry than the rosewood. Very pretty. These are a great option for um, clean for a clean beauty brand like a cream blush a good option you know because again i think i want to say they retail for 
ten dollars. And then of course, like every now and then on Target, like they'll go on sale, like the whole line will go on sale. Um, they have bundles on their website as well, from what I've seen. So this is a Poppy. This one on me pulls more pink. But both both work. Both are nice actually. Let me take this off so you guys can see it on my lips. I do apologize. Last time I did that, somebody was like, you know, it's a lip and cheek product. Do you mind? Try it on your lips. And I was like, crap, I forgot. <laughs> All right. I wiped some off. My lips are very dry and I need to do a better job of moisturizing them. All right. I'm going to take that poppy color and I'm going to put it on my lips. It's pretty. It's a very pretty pink. Ooh. I like that. I'm just curious to see if it's going to turn purple on my lip. Sometimes if I put a lipstick on or anything that's like pink or too like blue tone, my lip will start to turn purple or like blue. I don't see it as changing color. It's a pretty, it's a pretty color. I think this would be a great blush like it reminds me more of something that I would probably wear towards like a spring not really winter like winter I, I favor like berry tones like deep berry tones reds or um neutrals but this is pretty I actually like this on my lips and this is the full coverage part of the lip to cheek so again just in case light coverage medium coverage full coverage so very pretty I feel like it gave my face some life this is why i like blush and i mentioned this in another video like when i first started i did have like a little bit of bronzer like contour thing going on but there was no color to my cheeks no color to my lips and now it just kind of softened my look like from what i look like in the beginning of the video to now it gave me life it gave me like a glow but it softened my look too which is cool that's why i like blush it's, it's fun it's very versatile so those are the two colors again rosewood and poppy they are pretty long wear. I've never had an issue with these like disappearing. And, you know, I had used them more, not these, but the ones I purchased before during the summer. And they stayed on like all day and have a problem with them disappearing or anything like that. So they are long wear. So if you are interested in these, definitely check them out. They are nice. I love how they're versatile. I love how you can manipulate the coverage. So let me know if you guys have tried this or if you've picked up the other shades that they have. Now, I do have um, two more shades. I have it in Blazin and I have it in, I think it's, I want to say it's called Berry. I'm not sure. But if you do want a dedicated video or swatches of those, let me know. Comment down below. I can do that for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.